welcome to my channel, Thriving Not Just Surviving. I'm your host, Charlie Henry. This channel focuses on health and longevity. I share anti-aging skincare tips, information on supplementation, product reviews, stretching, meditation, and lots more. If that sounds like your kind of thing, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Today, I want to give a review of the Mysama Bian Stone Gua Sha LED Facial Massager Device. When I found out about this device, I was really excited. Um, in a previous video, I shared with you my evening skincare routine, which includes 15 minutes of um, 15 minutes spent behind a near infrared light. However, about a month ago, I was using my light. I heard a pop and the light blew. When I unscrewed the light bulb, this is what I found. I was pretty disappointed, especially as I paid £60 for that light bulb and only been using it for about six weeks. So I contacted the company to ask questions about my usage, basically to try and find out if the fault was mine. Um, I got a really rude generic AI response that was obviously not um, sent by a human, telling me that it was out of warranty and they wouldn't be refunding me, even though I wasn't actually asking for a refund in my query. <laughs> so I decided not to buy from that company again yet. Yeah. It's Nine Life UK, in case you're wondering. I've also tried contacting the manufacturer directly, Ruby Lux Light, um, and I haven't had any response from them either, so I kind of gave up on that particular LED light. Anyway, since I was now without an LED light, I decided to give the Mysama Beyond Stone Gua Sha LED Facial Massager a try. I've been using it now every day for the last month, and I'll share my results with you at the end of this video. But first, let's talk a bit more about what the device actually is. Um, Bian Stone Gua Sha is an ancient Chinese medicine method of rejuvenating the face and improving overall health. It's a small flat stone which is drawn over the body as a type of massage. The Bian Stone itself contains more than 40 trace elements that are beneficial to human health. Compounds such as um, magnesium, zinc, strontium, titanium, thallium, and zinc, to name a few. These elements get absorbed by the skin when we use the stone. Um, the stone dredges the human body's meridian channels, and it improves the body's microcirculation, and it also eliminates heat and poisons in the human body, and removes unnecessary fats. Beyond stones work on the blood circulation, making it run faster, this purifies the blood and the blood vessels, thereby increasing oxygen and nutrition supply to various body organs. So if you think about what that does to the face, if we're in, in, um, increasing oxygen flow to the blood vessels in the face, that is obviously going to rejuvenate and also help with the healing process. So if you have any kind of acne, rosacea, that kind of stuff, it will also help with that, in addition to helping with skin elasticity and wrinkles. Beyond stones also emit far infrared heat, which also has a beneficial effect on the body. So I've included a link to a scientific paper proving these effects down below, so you can read extra if you want to. Now, my summer have made the genius move to embed a Beyond Stone within an LED massager device, so you get all the benefits of the Beyond Stone with the added skin youthening and regenerating effects of LED lights. Um, so the device has several functions. It vibrates, it heats up, and it also lights up. And these functions all work together to improve your skin as you use it. The LED light included in the device is at the correct newmans for skin rejuvenation. So that is between 660 and 850 newmans of light. Light at this frequency penetrates the skin to enhance cell turnover and regeneration, and it also helps skin um, to absorb the skincare product that you're using on your skin. So let's look at the device itself. So if I open it up, this is, the, this is what you get inside. So you get this little booklet, and the booklet actually gives you more information, some of the information that I've already discussed, and also an kind of instruction manual telling you how to use it. This is the charging cable, and then this is the device itself. So you open this up here, and just word of advice, make sure you open it up before you've actually put oil on your fingers because otherwise it gets super slippery and hard to open. So you open it up there and that, that bit there is the Beyond Stone. And then if you switch it on here, you can see that's the LED bit coming on there. So it's got the benefits of the LED and also the benefits of the Beyond Stone. Once it's fully charged, it gives you four hours of charge. 
Um, the little booklet, I do encourage you to read it because, you know, like I said, in addition to having lots of history and, um, you know, all of the stuff that I've just discussed, kind of the background of Beyond Stones itself, it also has all the different modes and, you know, just a full instruction of how to use it. Um, because it has um, this device, in addition to having the LED, it also vibrates and it also heats up. So, you know, you have to read the instruction manual to just, you know, let you know exactly how to use those, all those different functions effectively. And it also has this little diagram here, which shows you exactly the method that they, that my summer recommend you use to actually um, get the best out of your gua sha. Now, I know there are many videos online with various different techniques of how to do gua sha. I decided to follow the diagram and the instructions exactly as were provided with the actual device. Primarily because I thought that most people who get this device are going to be doing that. And I wanted to know how effective this would be when I just followed the instructions exactly how the manufacturer intended it to be used. So I'm going to just run through a little routine of exactly how I use it now. Right, so much of what you're going to see now is repetition of my evening skincare routine. I did do a video about that earlier, so I'll link to that video down below. Um, so what I do first, I'm just going to take my makeup first. Then I wash my face with CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Then I use the Ordinary's um, Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. That just gets off those last residual bits of makeup and it also gives my skin a nice exfoliation, which is really important because as you get older, you start, you know, the skin cells start really building up and give your skin that dry, dull complexion, which you don't want. So that exfoliation is going to give you a more youthful glow. Then I use my Dermatica. My Dermatica, this is a combination of niacinamide and tretinoin, and it's a game changer. It's really helped to minimise my pores and also just even out the, um, the tone and the texture of my skin and also reduces fine lines and wrinkles as well. Now I give that about a minute to soak in. Right, now that's had a minute to soak in, then I'm going to use, it's really important that you use this, it's the Mysama Green Rooibos um, Pressed Serum. And basically what this does is an antioxidant serum. And it's been proven that when you use this serum in conjunction with the LED light, you actually get much more benefit from the LED light than just using the LED light alone. So you get um, a greater reduction in fine lines and wrinkles and a greater improvement in skin elasticity. So I put this on and then it's important that once you put this on, it's just a single pump. Once you put this on, you need to wait 15 minutes for the antioxidants and the serum to soak into the skin and start working before you do your uh, gua sha. So I'll put it all over my face and neck. And see you in 15 minutes. Now, I put a few drops of cold pressed organic argan oil on my face. The reason I do that is because you need a bit of lubrication to be able to rub the Beyond Stone over it. And argan oil has also been proven to reduce fine lines and wrinkles and increase cell turnover. Um, basically, it's just another you thing. You need to do the front of your face and also the back of your neck because that's part of the Beyond Stone routine. So a 2015 study published in Clinical Interventions in Aging found that after 60 days of everyday application, argan oil improved the skin's appearance of elasticity and firmness. I've included a link to that study down below. Now it's time to start using the Beyondstone itself. So turn it on. And then I always put the heat, it's got vibration, um, infrared and also heat so I put the heat on as well so it's got all three modes on and then this is the routine I've been doing which basically is just a copy of 
of this here. So, and I do three times. So you basically, it's supposed, you're supposed to go up your neck and then do a little wiggle. I do that three times. Middle, wiggle, wiggle, side, then I go underneath my cheekbones. Over my cheekbones. And then at the top of my cheeky bones, that's kind of just underneath the eye, but just I go quite soft there to make sure I'm not disturbing the delicate under eye area too much. And then this is the one thing I do deviate from what's actually in the booklet, but I actually go in the center area here, the glabella, and that's not actually in the booklet, but I just feel like I do have a wrinkle developing there, so I want to smooth it out. Then going back to what's in the booklet, I go up away from the eyebrows. On both sides, three times. And then four times at the forehead. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. And let me see if I can turn around so you can see. Then you actually, I'm going down the back, downwards down the back of my neck, three times there, and on the other side. And then basically I repeat that twice more. So I'm doing each stroke three times, and then doing the entire thing three times, if that makes sense. Um, I tend to find that the entire process, the entire routine takes me about five minutes. I do have a couple of tips on usage of this. Um, you know, after you've been using it for a while, your hands, especially if you're using it with oil, like I have been, um, it will, it, the outside will start getting a bit oily. So, and then it becomes quite hard to take this cap on and off. So um, you can just kind of rub it with a, with a cloth to clean it because obviously it's electric, so you don't want to get it damaged. Um, the charging point is in the side there. You do want to make sure that you're charging it quite regularly. I was charging it at least once a week because although it, you, you do get four hours of charge, it's really annoying and it has happened to me once if right in the middle of your routine it suddenly runs out of battery. So um, I was just charging it once a week just to ensure that didn't happen. Now, let's take a look at my results. Okay, what I'm seeing here is an improvement to particularly in the skin around the neck. If you look at the photo on the left, the skin around the neck is a little bit more wrinkled and saggy looking than the photo on the right. And I also noticed that if you look at the lips, of the photo on the left, they're slightly more downturned than the lips are in the photo on the right. And of course, that will be because of an improvement in the skin elasticity. Um, the changes are very subtle. It's not the same as kind of getting a facelift or something like that. Um, and of course, the lighting is slightly different in each photo, the angle is slightly different in each photo. It's almost impossible to get angles and lighting exactly the same when we're taking photo a month apart, no matter how hard I've tried. Right, I think in this photo, the changes are a little bit more pronounced and a little bit easier to pick up than in the side profile photo. If you look at that before photo on the left, the mid cheek area is to me more puffy than the after photo on the right. And what I'm also noticing is a greater regularity in the texture of the skin in the after photo than in the photo on the left. There's just a e more even texture. The third thing I notice is that the photo on the left, my pores are a little bit more enlarged and enlarged pores are a sign of aging. So in the right, you can see the pores are a little bit less enlarged. Therefore, the, the euthany has taken place. In conclusion, I absolutely love this device. 
I really feel it's been a game changer for me. My skin not only looks more youthful, I also love that it forces me to focus on facial massage once a day, which is in itself a relaxing process. Um, you might think, oh, I don't have time for that. And I thought that too initially, but I found that it's actually easy to fit into my day if I multitask. Often I'll be using it while I'm spending quality time with the kids, either playing a card game, for example, or, or helping them practice their musical instruments. Or other times I do it while I'm watching TV in the evening. So if you want to get your own Mysama LED Beyond Stone Gua Sha device, there's a link and discount code in the description. Then once you've had a chance to use it, I'd love to hear what you think. Please comment below and let us all know how you get on. Or perhaps you have other comments. What are your thoughts on Gua Sha as a beauty device? Um, have you experienced good results from using a Gua Sha or from facial massage, which is pretty similar? What about LED devices? Have you tried any and do you have any you could recommend to people in this community, myself included, because as I shared, my LED device that I used to use is broken, so now I'm solely using this Gua Sha, which is good, but it would be good to have more recommendations for a, a static LED light device, which I can use in conjunction with the Gua Sha. Um, so yeah, please comment below any comments you have. I really enjoy reading and responding to your comments, so yeah, just comment below and let me know your thoughts. And if you've enjoyed today's content, please hit like and subscribe and the notification bell. Until next time, bye.